Okay friends, now it's time to get started on replacing our spark plug wires. Now real quick, I just wanted to mention that your engine's gonna have two banks. Essentially, it's gonna have spark plugs along the driver's side. That's gonna be bank number one. Along the passenger side is gonna be bank number two. So the spark plugs going along each side. For the driver's side is gonna be the odd numbers. And on the other side, it's gonna be even numbers. So we're gonna go one, three, then five, two, four, six. The reason why this is important is because now we need to look back here at the distributor. Now looking at the distributor, you can tell that it actually has stamped right on it three, one, and five right here. And then over on this side, we've got two, four, six, and then a C. The C stands for coil, and that's a completely separate wire. Typically what I like to do before I go ahead and remove any of the wires is just mark them. So I can see on this one it says three. I'm gonna mark a little three on this wire and then move down along the line doing the same thing. So for us, what we're gonna do for this video is I'm gonna show you how to replace the coil wire, which is gonna be the far rear wire back here. And then I'm gonna show you how to replace one of the spark plug wires leading down along the passenger side. Those are the easiest to access and they're also the easiest for the camera to see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab onto this coil wire. I'm gonna give it a nice wiggle and try to break it free. Okay. We'll pull that up and that leads right here to your ignition coil. Give that a nice twist as well and lift it up and off. There's our coil wire. Now let's find the new one and replace it. Now let's move our way over to the bench so we can match up our coil wire. Essentially, you just want to go like this and then figure out which wire is the same length. As you can tell for this one, we've got the two ends that match up perfectly. The next thing that I want to do is take off this little shield right here. We'll remove it from the original coil wire and then put it onto the brand new wire. This is going to be very simple. You just slide it on there like this and then push it all the way on. The next thing we want to do is make sure we put a little bit of dielectric grease on the contact points. After that, we can put this right onto the coil, press it down, listen for a nice click, and give it a tug. You want to make sure that it's secured. If it's not, then it's going to slide off and that'll be an issue. Now I'm just going to bring this underneath all this, underneath our heater core hoses here, and then connect it onto the distributor cap. There we are, perfect. Just ensure that it's not touching up against anything that it shouldn't. Now that we have it connected in on both sides, just double check it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this loom so it's all the way down to where the wire rubs up against the other ignition wires. You definitely want to have something in between those. Perfect. Now let's move along to replacing one of the spark plug wires. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach right down along this side here and you can find that there's going to be two mounting points that hold our wires. There's one right up here and then one located a little bit further down. These are just plastic and essentially you can just kind of get in between with a flathead screwdriver and separate them. There's one. There we are. Now you can slide the wires right out of those as needed. Now I'm just going to reach down to my spark plug wire where it connects onto the spark plug. Carefully grab onto that, give it a nice couple twists just to break it free from the spark plug. We don't want to damage the spark plug. As I'm twisting, I'm going to slowly pull it away and then remove it. Now the spark plug wire that we removed from the spark plug was from cylinder six. It was all the way back on the passenger side. Mine's also labeled because it's original. I'm just gonna follow that up to the distributor up here and remove it from number six. There we are. Now we can remove the wire and match it up with the new one. All right, so now I wanna match this up. Something that I'm gonna notice is that this one has this right along here and it's fairly short. If I was to look at the new ones, I can see that there's two that have the flat area. So let's just grab onto those and lift it up. Find the one that matches. Perfect. Let's swap this over. All right, let's get this in the truck. Now, when we put in this spark plug wire, a couple things we wanna pay attention to is the routing of it. You wanna make sure that you're not going up and around anything that it shouldn't. So if something looks like it's gonna be hot or sharp, keep it away. Just gonna dangle this down along the side of the engine and then we'll connect this side in to the distributor. Slide it right on there. Listen for that click and give it a nice tug. You need to make sure that it's secured. Now that we have it connected, let's slide this protector up towards the distributor where it's gonna be resting across the rest of the wires. Bring this down and connect it onto the spark plug. Push it right on that spark plug, listen for a click, and then give it a nice tug. Make sure it's secure. Now let's line it up with its securing points and move along to doing the rest of the wires. Now that we have all the wires done, let's continue on by locking in all of our securing points. Perfect. Give the wires a wiggle, make sure they don't move around too much, and definitely ensure that they're not resting against the exhaust in any way. Now to do this side spark plug wires, you can reach right down inside here. There's a little bit less room. If you find that it's inconvenient, just come right in through the wheel well right here, and you should be able to access them fairly easily. 
Okay friends, so we got all our spark plug wires in. What's left to do? Go ahead and start up the truck and make sure you don't have any check engine light. After that, take it for a road test.